Lobotomy Solutions presents Preventing Hemolysis. What is hemolysis? Hemolysis is the rupture of erythrocytes or red blood cells with release of hemoglobin into the plasma. Now, why does this happen? There are a number of reasons why this could happen. One, improper placement of needle. If you insert the needle into the vein improperly, either too far, not far enough, or if its bevel is facing down or at a slight angle instead of facing up, that can cause hemolysis. Uh, prolonged tourniquet application. If you've gone over the one minute restrictive mark and you're still drawing tubes after one minute with the tourniquet on, that can cause hemolysis. Shaking the tubes instead of inverting. If you are shaking them too hard or inverting them too hard, uh, that can also cause hemolysis. Pulling the plunger too hard on a syringe draw. So while you're drawing blood from a syringe and you pull the plunger way too hard and not at a good even slow motion, that can cause hemolysis. Using the wrong size needle with tube, uh, people would like to use a 23 or 25 gauge needle with the large SST tubes. That is wrong. That can cause hemolysis. And also excessive centrifugation. If you're centrifuging the, the blood sample over and over again, that can cause hemolysis from the pressure from the centrifuge. Now, how can we prevent hemolysis? Well, one, we can avoid slow draws that come from improper needle placement. Two, we can avoid pulling too hard on the syringe plunger. Three, we can gently invert tubes, letting the air rotate from top to bottom, causing proper friction for mixing. Uh, we can avoid using 25 gauge needles or smaller and use proper size needle with proper size tubes. Now there are other factors we can talk about that can also cause hemolysis and prevent hemolysis, but these are some of the top five and also the six we saw earlier that can cause and also prevent hemolysis. Now for more information, go to phlebotomysolutions.org.